Today, let's talk about addiction. Have you or your friends ever said, I'm addicted to my phone? I mean, there's YouTube, Twitter, texting, Instagram, pictures, phone calls, Snapchat, Facebook. It may seem like an exaggeration, but you might actually be addicted to technology. Although addiction is usually associated with drugs, it is very possible to be addicted to other things, like your phone or social media. After all, too much of a good thing is not good. You're probably wondering, am I addicted to anything? What even is addiction? Addiction is the misuse or overuse of any substance or activity. It is indeed classified as a mental disorder. Not sure if you or your friends are addicted to technology? If three or more of the following apply to you, then yes, you are addicted. 1. You keep going back for more and more to stay satisfied. If you've spent hours and hours on the internet, but you still feel the need to return to the screen, you may be addicted. 2. When you're away from the internet or your device, you feel withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal symptoms are any negative effects you experience when you're away from the activity. If your internet connection is down and you feel like you can't possibly survive, you may be addicted. 3. You spend longer than you intend doing the activity. If you tell yourself that you're only going to browse your Twitter feed for 10 minutes, but an hour later you're still there scrolling through tweets, you may be addicted. 4. You feel the need to cut down on this activity, but you can't. Have you ever told yourself that you're going to delete Facebook or Instagram from your device so that you're not tempted to go on? But days later you've downloaded them again because you just couldn't resist. This may be addiction. 5. You spend a lot of time trying to get to this activity. Maybe you go on a camping trip for the weekend and you spend a long time walking around searching for a signal. It seems like you go to great lengths just to stay connected. This may mean you're addicted. 6. You give up other events to engage in this activity. If you frequently miss other events to stay home and play video games, you may be addicted. Or maybe you spend less time with your family because you're always chatting with friends on Messenger or watching funny YouTube videos. This might also mean you're addicted. 7. You know you're being negatively affected by your overuse of this device or activity, but you continue to use it anyway. It's like you can't stay away. Let's say you notice that your grades have been suffering since you got your new phone or Instagram account. You know you're being distracted, but you can't seem to stay away from your phone. This may be addiction. So what are all the symptoms of addiction? Here's the list again. 1. You keep going back for more and more to stay satisfied. 2. When you're away from the internet or your device, you feel withdrawal symptoms. 3. You spend longer than you mean to doing the activity. 4. You feel the need to cut down on this activity, but you can't. 5. You spend a lot of time trying to get to this activity or device. 6. You give up other events to engage in this activity. 7. You know you're being negatively affected by your overuse of this device or activity, but you continue to use it anyway. Take a moment to consider the amount of time you spend on your phone or on social media. Do any of the listed symptoms apply to you? Remember, if three or more apply, you may be addicted. But what causes us to become addicted to things? Believe it or not, science has a way of explaining why we can't tear our eyes away from our phones, laptops and TVs. And it's all inside your head, literally. Here's why. When we're doing something we enjoy, like laughing with friends or watching our favorite TV show, 
our brains release a chemical called dopamine in its reward center. This makes us feel good. You know that feeling of happy satisfaction when you get a lot of likes on a status or picture? That's dopamine at work. This also happens after achieving something positive, such as getting an A on a test or coming first in a race. Dopamine is essentially our brain's way of rewarding us. But what does this have to do with addiction? Similarly, when we engage in an addictive activity, our brains release dopamine, which makes us feel good. Eventually, we begin to crave this good feeling. Our brains release more and more dopamine as we use our phones and browse social media. We are now glued to our screens because we can't get enough of the rewarding feeling that comes with being connected. Dopamine is good, but in moderation. When our brains are flooded with dopamine, we become addicted to things, which has consequences of its own. Now you understand the symptoms and causes of addiction. If you think you're addicted to technology, it's time to take action. Tune into part two to learn about the negative effects of addiction and the steps you can take to free yourself from your addiction. Until next time.